Hi there, this is Harry. Welcome back to Advanced English Lessons with Harry, where I try to help you to get a better understanding of the English language. It might help you to improve your job possibilities for those interviews, certainly help you with your conversational English, business English, generally just improve what you already know and try to build it better to get onto those different levels, A1, A2, A2, B1, whatever it happens to be, we're here to help you. And if you're looking for lessons on a one-to-one -one basis, you would like a trial, come back to me and we'll set you up and get you sorted out. What are we going to look at in this particular lesson? Well, we're looking at expressions and idioms to do with the word break. We've got a lot of them, there are 14, so I'll go through them one by one, and then I'll give you some examples. Break a habit. Well, usually when we have habits, they can often be bad habits, smoking, drinking, lazy, whatever they are, they are bad habits. And when somebody wants us to stop, we have to break the habit. Ah, I saw Jonathan last week. He, he, he's not smoking. He hasn't smoked for, he says, three months. He's really broken the habit. It's really great because it's going to be really good for his health. In fact, when I saw him, he was out jogging. I've never seen him jog before to break the habit. Break the habit of a lifetime. I wish I didn't wake up every morning at 5.30. It's quite annoying. Everybody's asleep and I wake up. But I, and I don't even need an alarm. I just wake up. Whether I go to bed at midnight or one in the morning, I still wake up at 5.30. I'd love to break the habit. Break the bank. Often we use this negatively. Ah, that's not going to break the bank. So your partner says, why don't we go to the movies on Saturday and grab a pizza before or afterwards? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a great idea. We haven't done it for ages. It's not going to break the bank. It's only just the pizza and the movies. We'll get the, the early bird menu. So, you know, it's really, really going to be good. So it's not going to break the bank. Or we're going to carry out a new advertising campaign and we're probably going to advertise on social media. Okay, well, let's do it, but let's not break the bank. Let's just take it slowly at the beginning, see what sort of return, see what interest we get. And if it works out, well, fair enough. We can go back later on and do it again, but not at the beginning. Let's not break the bank. Let's not overspend. Break even. When we break even, it means we neither make profit nor loss. The business broke even for the first few years, which is quite amazing, actually, because we had a lot, of, a lot of setup costs. We had to get the property rented, painted, decorated, fitted out. And even still, we, we made a little bit of money. And then with the other costs and expenses, we just about broke even. And we did that for the first couple of years. So we've got over that little problem. And I think for the next few years, we should be able to make a small profit. So to break even means you don't lose money, but you don't absolutely make money. And often we're quite happy just to break even. I spent a lot of money buying some camera equipment a few years ago, really thinking I was going to get into photography, but I didn't really like it. It wasn't really my cup of tea. So I sold all of the equipment on eBay actually, and I broke even. I was really surprised. So I effectively got my money back even though the cameras were a couple of years old. So nothing ventured, nothing gained. I broke even. Break fresh ground. Well, when we break fresh ground, it usually means we're going to start something new, a new venture. The business focused most, almost entirely on national and local issues. We sold our products in the local markets. We distributed it to the local supermarkets around the country. But we were getting to the stage where we needed to make some progress. So we decided to go overseas to break fresh ground, to find new markets. We got invited to a particular exhibition. We made some contacts and it's beginning to prove worthwhile and profitable. So to break fresh ground, do something new, do something different. Break the ice. Well, that's the classic situation when you're in the elevator, you're stuck there or at the beginning of a meeting, you don't know anybody or you've gone to visit the in-laws for the first time, whoever it happens to be, somebody has to start the conversation. People are looking a little bit nervous or embarrassed or shy. So somebody breaks the ice. Well, the weather's good, isn't it? Did you see that new film? 
Do you see what they've done to the high street? So little topics, little chit-chat conversations that will very definitely break the ice, get people feeling a little less uncomfortable, a little bit more relaxed, and then you can get down to business. You go to the boss to talk about your salary rise or your promotion or your appraisal and he starts asking you about oh how's the work going you know were you at the football match did you get everything sorted out in your new home and these are all little topics to break the ice and then okay look let's get down to business to break the ice break the news ask dr johnston to help me break the news to her Often this is about bad news. Somebody has to break the news. You're talking to your sister. You didn't do particularly well in your exams. In fact, you were very disappointed. And your sister says, well, okay, now you have to tell mum and dad who's going to break the news. Do you want me to do it for you? No, no, I'll do it. I better get it over with. Yeah, to break the news. You have to tell something uh, to somebody, something bad. We'll have to break the news to the staff sooner or later. You know, they're beginning to talk about it. They know we've got problems. They really think we're going to sack a few people. So better to break the news sooner rather than later. We'll have a staff meeting on Friday before the weekend and we'll tell them then to break the news. Break the spell. Well, you could be stuck in the middle of a heat wave at the moment. So there's a spell of really hot weather. But then it's announced that there's going to be a big, big thunderstorm on Tuesday. That will break the spell of hot weather that we've had and a bit of uh, light relief and the temperature should drop and a bit of fresh air. So everybody will be feeling a little happier and a little bit more comfortable to break the spell. Or somebody is very, very close to a friend, but they have a sort of uh, bad influence on them and you'd really like to break that spell you'd really like something to happen so you say oh i wish that girl would get transferred to another school or i wish really david would go and find another course try and break the spell that he's under with that girl she's not really a good influence on him at all something has to be done to break that spell to break that control that she has over him okay and remember if you like this particular lesson then please like the video and if you can please subscribe to the channel because it really really helps break your heart well lots of things will break your heart yeah things yeah your son or daughter break up with their first boyfriend or girlfriend that'll break your heart it'll certainly break their hearts okay having to move home after being there for so many years will break your heart retiring from your job might break your heart. Unfortunately, with the sad passing of your favorite dog or cat, that will very definitely break your heart. Break the rules. Well, we've all broken the rules at some time, particularly when we talk about the rules of the road. Who hasn't driven faster than the speed limit? Who has parked in an illegal parking zone? Who has parked somewhere on the chance that they don't put money into the meter or pay for it? So we've all at some stage broken the rules, particularly the rules of the road. And hopefully we haven't been caught. Or if you're unfortunate like me and uh, you get a letter in the post and there's a photograph of your car registration and you were photographed driving at 60 or 70 kilometers on a Sunday morning when there was nobody else around and yeah you're going a little bit too fast and you had to pay the penalty to break the rules. Break the silence. Well again a bit like breaking the news somebody has to break the silence. You come home from school or work or something and when you walk into the room there's an atmosphere. People are not talking to each other because something has been said, something has been done. So you say, okay, what is it? What happened? And there's a silence in the room. So somebody has to break the silence. Okay, somebody better tell me what's going on, who did what? And then, of course, your partner tells you, well, the kids did this, the kids did that. Then the kids say, well, it wasn't my fault, and blah, blah, blah. So eventually you break the silence. Somebody tells you everything that's going on and people get back to normal and are talking to each other. So when we break the silence, we break that sort of, atmosphere that's around particularly as a result of a misunderstanding or a family argument or row to break the silence break something in two 
Well, the easiest thing to break in two is a bar of chocolate. Half for you, half for me. Broke the biscuit in two. You broke the workload in two. Give half to one colleague and half to the other. Yeah, so we've got an assignment. I'm going to break it in two. Yeah, we'll do this half this week and the other half next week. So we look at the schedule. We look at the what's needed. We've got to pack all these boxes. Okay, let's look. Let's break this in two. You take that from left to right. I'll take the others from right to left. So to break it in two so that everything is evenly divided and we achieve our objectives or achieve our goals. To break in two means to divide. Break your back. Well, this is a very common expression when somebody thinks they have worked really, really hard. You know, I broke my back getting that project done. I worked late at least three or four nights last week and a couple of nights this week. I got the project completed and I sent it to him. He didn't even acknowledge it. He didn't even tell me thank you. He didn't even say, say well done. I mean, that's the last time I'm going to break my back for him. Anything else he asked me for? Yeah, I'll do it. But if he thinks I'm going to work late, ha, he's got another thing coming. I broke my back for that and I'm, it's the last time I do it. You could break your back digging the garden in early spring after a, a long, hard winter and the ground perhaps hasn't thawed as well as you thought. So it takes a little bit more effort and you end up with a few blisters on your hands. So you really physically broke your back digging that soil, turning that ground over, getting ready to plant the vegetables. Okay, so to break your back. To break someone's fall. Well, when you break someone's fall, you provide a sort of a cushion or literally so that when they fall, they don't hurt themselves. A few weeks ago, I was out with my grandkids and they love climbing as all young kids do. And the two of them were climbing up the tree and one of them slipped. Luckily, I happened to be standing near the tree and I was able to grab him to break his fall. So he didn't literally break his arm or his worse still. OK, so I was able to break his fall. When I used to ski and I skied very badly, I, if I felt I was going to fall, which was quite often, I'd roll on my side to break my fall so that I wouldn't damage my back or I could roll pretty quickly and uh, not get injured. So to break your own fall. So a cushion will do it. Yeah? So something that you can land softly. And then finally, we've got break the mold. We've got an expression in English. Ah, they broke the mold when they made him. It really refers to somebody who's a little bit special, a little bit unusual or very different from everybody else. You know, he's the funniest guy I've ever met. He's always got stories, always got anecdotes. He's, he's nothing like anybody else I, I know. They broke the mold when they made him. He's really, really special. Or somebody who's really, really helpful. Nothing is any trouble for them. If you want some help, then he'll give it to you. If you want a lend of money, he'll give it to you. If you want somebody to help you move the furniture, he'll help you. They broke the mold when they made him. He's really quite a unique person. So to break the mold. Okay, so there are the expressions and um, idioms using break. So they're advanced English. So you, you won't need to use them all. You, perhaps you won't understand them all, but you can try them. Break the habit. Break the bank. Break even. To break fresh ground. Break the ice. Break the news. Break the spell. Break your heart. Break the rules. Break the silence. Break in two. Break your back. Break yours or someone's fall. And then finally, break the mold. Break the mold. If you need anything in particular, well, come back to me and I'll give you some more examples of those. We always appreciate it when you watch and listen. And as always, join me again soon.